Welcome back to the Halftime Show here on K105. Sam Gormley with you for another edition of our Cougar Conversations. We're back at the Cougar Den for another basketball edition. Today we are talking with senior guard Arissa Riggs. And Arissa, the first question I have for you is, and I asked River Blanton this as well earlier in the year, and it's to tell me your basketball story. Kind of a loaded question, but how long have you been playing? Who have you played for? Kind of give, give me the story when it comes to that. Well, I actually started in second grade when my sister hurt her arm and I wasn't actually old enough to play. You're supposed to be in third grade at Hart County and um, she hurt her wrist. I think she fractured it actually. So I stepped in and played for her and then it just all took off from there. And I played on multiple travel teams, AAU, all that good stuff. So. Last season, the record didn't necessarily show it, but for those that watch, I mean, I watched every almost every single game that you all played last year, and from November the 30th, whatever it was, against Breckenridge County to that final game against Butler County in the district tournament, it was obvious that your team improved a lot. How do you think you all improved? Well, I think, uh, especially on the defensive end, we learned how to communicate a lot better, a bit better with one another because we lost them three starters and um, so we all had to kind of get that bond back and um, help each other as teammates. How does your team take the next step this year? Be more offensive minded. We all have to be aggressive to the basket and just all look to score instead of just one person. You are now in week the second full week of practice here at Grayson County. What have been some of the focal points that Coach Johnson has been putting you all through? Um, defense. Communication is the biggest thing. We go over that a lot because we do it really good in drills, but then when we get out there scrimmaging, we don't do it very well. You are one of the few upperclassmen on, on this team. It is still very, very young. That was one of the storylines that we talked about a lot last year. What are you trying to teach some of these younger, inexperienced players? Because you have a lot of varsity experience. Well, the main thing is talk. You have to talk or nobody's going to know what to do or when to do it. So you have to communicate with your teammates, be uplifting, and just just always be there for one another. Last year, Coach Johnston and I talk, talked a lot about leadership and on-court leadership specifically. What does that look like to you? Well, I take that role, especially on this team, because I just feel like that it's important for somebody to step up. And on this team, that was my job. Um, even sophomore year, I took a lot of the leadership role, and so I just think that that's really important for the younger girls to see and look up to a leader. What, and again, I got another loaded question here for you, but we were watching a little bit of practice today, and offense was something that you all were working about, uh, a lot on, and what is the key to running successful offense? Well, you got to move without the ball is the main thing. Set ball screens, and um, everybody's got to be aggressive. Are you into goals? And if so, does is there an individual goal for yourself? And then what about a team goal? Well, an individual goal is always go 110%. No matter what, no matter how my game's going, you always have to go 110%. And then a team goal, I think mainly it's just first it's the season, trying to win as many games as possible. And then after that, we go from district to region, just build your way up, kind of like that. Are you ready for the speed round? I think so. <laughs> this, this is the part that uh, is, is at least my favorite part going to be some easy questions, maybe some opportunities as well for you to dish out on some of your teammates. What's your favorite memory as a Lady Cougar? Um, when we won district uh, sophomore season and we did donuts in the parking lot on the bus. <laughs> I've heard a lot about that. We were rushing back to get here and I missed that even happening. Uh, Pre-game song, is there a type of music that you have to listen to? I don't listen to music actually, like before games and stuff. Now is that a superstitious thing? No, I just, I don't really listen to music to get pumped up. Cats or dogs? Uh, dogs. Right answer. Favorite food? Chicken. Any type? Fried. Fried. Okay, good answer, good answer. If you could have any superpower, what would you have? Uh, the Flash. <laughs> Go anywhere as fast as I can. Good answer, good answer. Uh, who's the best answer on the team? Sutton. No hesitation. Uh, could any of your teammates win American Idol? I don't know. I mean, I can sing. <laughs> I guess you, you would be the answer to that. Uh, who's the most likely to be president of your teammates? None of us. <laughs> None of us. So you wouldn't vote for any of them. And then the final one, of your teammates, who could have a successful reality TV show? Um, I'm going to say Ella. <laughs> I think. Arissa, thank you. Good luck this season. I know we're looking forward to November the 29th. I think it's the first game is going to be here before we know it. The halftime show here continues in just a few moments as this has been another edition of Cougar Conversations.